Okay, so I laid everything out in a way that makes sense for me. Um, that might be different than what you guys might want to do. So lay it out in what makes sense for you guys. Um, I have a blank space here you'll notice for a future plunge router. And I have a blank space over here for my other drill that's currently getting fixed. And I have all my bits in the center. I got drill bits, portion bits, router bits. And they're all just connected to um, these magnetic strips. And the cool thing about that is you can just take things on and off the magnetic strips really quickly. Um, and you can change what's on these, you can mix them around, you know, you have a lot of flexibility. Um, and then lastly, I'll just put my batteries on top of the frame. A lot of people put their drills in this way. I put mine in this way because I didn't want it to stick quite as far off the wall because this is still my garage and I need to be able to use it to park my car and do other things in here. I understand that this design doesn't leave a lot of room for expansion. I can only put two drills on here. I can only put two routers on here. Pretty much stuck with this amount of bits. That's totally fine. I fully intend to make V2 and whatever I learned from V1, I'll apply to V2. So the first step for me after laying everything out is to build a frame around all of this and determine the overall size. For ease and cost, I'm gonna try and stick to a two x four handy plank. First, determine where the tools will be and figure out where to put the separators. Then measure your layout and cut the frame pieces to size. For the frame, I'm using 1x6. I'm cutting a rabbit in the back so the quarter inch panel sits recessed and allows the frame to sit flush against the wall. Cut the quarter inch backer panel to size. I went with a design that uses a frame for strength and then I'll just add quarter inch backer to tie it all together. Then I'll add some support strips that will allow me to attach the magnetic bit holders. Attach the backer panel to the frame using glue and nails. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add some separators in here. They're going to help separate all the tools, but they're also going to add a bunch of strength. I ripped the separators down to about a 1x5. Using your marks on the backer board, drill guide holes for your screws. Thank you. 
Now screw the separators in place. I measured, cut, and ripped all the tool holders to size, then test fit. Using a jigsaw, I cut out slots to hold the drills and routers. Place the tools in the holders and mark the location for each tool holder. Make sure the holders are square before making your marks. Now using your marks, drill guide holes for the screws. Use brad nails to secure the holders from the sides and screws in the back. With all your bits installed, determine the best spacing for your magnetic bit holders and mark their locations. I cut strips of half inch plywood to screw the magnetic strips to. I use CA glue to temporarily hold them in place while I drill guide holes and then screw them on from the back. Then I drilled holes for the screws and screwed the strips in place. Finally, find the studs and make a level line on the wall. Now install a strip of wood to support most of the weight of the organizer. Now add four to six three inch screws with washers to secure the organizer to the wall. I am pumped with the way this thing turned out. I'm super excited to see how it increases productivity in my shop. How about you guys give me a like, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think.